I tell you, whenever you did this for one of the least important of these followers of mine, you did it for me. A passage from the book of Matthew. This is how I will always remember Dominique de Guzman. We will be late for the mid-afternoon prayers. Still more time, Mama. Look, the moms are walking. I know, but they will finish up soon. And we still have to give all this bread so they can distribute it if we need it. Come. Manuscript to the convent in Osma. They are expecting this book. We are almost young, brother. We can make the new regard tomorrow morning. Excellent, excellent. These books are beautiful. Nobody is allowed to disturb the mouse, most especially inside the scriptorium. What are they doing inside, Mama? See the painstaking devotion they put in every page? They're making copies of sacred manuscripts so that one day you too can have a copy of your own. Now let's go. Bread. Brother, prayers. I need your prayers for my son, Antonio, embraced by the Moors. I believe in my heart. My Antonio will be set free by the power of your prayers, just like the others. Save him, please. Pray for my son, Antonio. Yeah. My son. My son, Antonio.
Julia, have you seen Dominic? Dominic sleeping in his room, senora. Shall I go fetch him? No, stay here and finish packing all this bread. Um, this basket is for my brother's protocol charge, and the other one is for Silo's. Oh, before I forget, Julia, are Dominic things already packed? We still have time to go to Silo's, right? Plenty of time, senora. Father told me to pack extra blankets as donation for his church in Palencia, senora. Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me, Julia. You keep on sleeping on the floor, Dominic. My friend Mom is doing in the police guard. Just remember how to play using the feet. Always offer a prayer to our beloved mother. and protect you. Pray for her intercession, Dominic. Mama? Yeah. Why is there war? Dominic, this is my parish. Soon it will be your home. Are you sure Dominic is ready for this, dear sister? Give him time, brother. Introduce him to your home. Dominic, how would you like to meet other boys your age? Little boy? Where? Those are really nice beads, Dominic. Do you want to know how they are made? Sometimes, the answers to some questions are not found inside these books, but searching them here is a good start. Do you understand me, Dominic? Look, here they say. Have I seen you taking down notes, Enrico? What? Why would he? If Dominic is around, he personally teach him the scriptures. You are just abuse. Because you don't have the patience and enough intelligence like Dominic. What Fernando is trying to say is that you are always taking advantage of Dominic. I'm not. You are not what, Enrico? It seems to me you have a more interesting discussion going on. Please, share your thoughts, Enrico. 
Fader Alonso, de emisario piso Martín de Baza nos forma Hasarray. Your angel save you, Enrico. No, everybody. Go and use your free time wisely, and I will see you again in two hours. I don't exactly remember when Dominic started this feeding program for the poor people who were displayed by the world. I just discovered one day that almost all the boys in this seminary have joined him. They all follow with Dominic, trading their properties in exchange for food. This is how these boys spend their free time. Nothing is left in his room, Father Diego. The only precious thing he has not traded yet are his manuscripts. What has gotten into you, Dominic? You have so all your possessions and all your books. I will go to your father also. Do you think it's easy for me? Go ahead. That will not stop me, Enrico. Not while people are dying of hunger outside these gates. Stop, Enrico! Lower your ways. Forgive me, Father. I was just trying to stop Dominic from selling his books. Is it true, Dominic? Forgive me, Father, but I cannot study in that skins when women and children are dying of hunger. Please understand. Let Domini go, Father. Selling our books to benefit the poor is one of the principal works of mercy. Ah, Rico, stay close, good Domini. Go, go and sell your books. May God spare your from Israel and once let go of those books. So that's Domini. Yes, yes, Seth loves Dominic. Ever since King Alfonso lost the battle against the Almohads, people keep coming to Valencia. Poor, hungry, sick, dying. Nothing seems to be enough anymore. You saw his empty cell. What was he thinking? Even if he saw everything, he had it is not enough to feed the entire population of Castile. How can he sustain his study here in Valencia? Now that he has got nothing to sell anymore, I wonder what he will do next. Hey, Dominic is breaking my heart with his compassion. Father well, also, please come with me. Dominic is offering himself to take the place of Christian, who is being ransomed by the Moors. I told you. Hi, Dominic. <laughs> Tell Dominic to stay in his cell and wait for me there. I have seen enough. Please let me deal with Dominic. Come, you who are left of my father. Come and possess the kingdom which has been prepared for you ever since the creation of the world. I was hungry and you filled me. Thirsty and you gave me drink. I wasn't a stranger and you received me in your homes. Naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you take care of me. In prison and you visited me. My God, my Lord, how will I continue to serve you now that I have nothing else but my life? You are safe now. These chains were left here by former prisoners of war who were set free because of the power of prayers of our zealous monks. They left these chains as proof of their devotion. You see, you have nothing to fear. If you believe in your prayers, you have nothing to fear. You believe in your prayers. Go ahead. Finish the passage of Matthew. 
I tell you, wherever you did this for one of the least important of these followers of mine, you did it for me. We have not been properly introduced, Dominic. I'm Father Diego from the Diocese of Osma. I came here in Palencia to organize relief efforts for the people displaced by the war. A charity that you already started, my son. Thank you very much, Father. You have not sent to these people. Thank you, God. Your prayers are always for our unfortunate brothers. But you forgot to pray for your unintentions. How are you sustaining your studies here, now that you have nothing else to trade? It will soon follow, Father Diego. God will provide me. As you say, you have nothing to fear if you believe in your prayers. Divine providence, my son. <laughs> Divine providence. All right. Maybe this is time in Dominic. Come and join me in Osma. Finish your studies there until you fulfill your dreams of becoming a priest. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. This grain of wheat is it still a wheat plant. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. yes. Let us say that. Yes. Let us say that the the grain is Jesus. The stalk is the Holy Spirit, and the root is God, the Father. All together is a whole plant, the Trinity. You understand? Yes. 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 This grain of wheat. What we need to do because this grain of wheat becomes bread. You have to grind it. Uh huh. How? Show me how to grind it. Uh huh. Very well. <laughs> like that. What else? What else we need because this grain of wheat becomes bread? We need water and yeast. And knead it. Show me how to knead it. What else? What else we need because this grain of wheat becomes bread? Fire. Well, in the oven with fire. Say it again. Cook in the oven with fire. Do you see how much work is needed because this grain of wheat becomes bread? The same thing happens with our devotion to God. To grind is to purify ourselves. To add water, yeast, and knead it is the things that we should do for to purify, like do good deeds, sharing with your friends, loving your neighbors. And the fire is the warmth and light that we receive when we hear God's words spoken in gospel into the church. You understand now? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes? You understand? Yes? Yes. yes. <laughs> now we can share and enjoy this bread. Come on. Take this bread. We can share with them. Yes? yes.
Conference of the Fathers of the Desert. Yes. It's an inspiring book by John Cassian when he preached the Gospels to the pagans. Just like him, I have always wanted to share the Gospels to the others. And now I feel my prayers will be answered soon. Listen, Dominique. King Alfonso would like us to represent his royal court in asking for the hand of Princess Mary of Denmark to be the future bride of his son. But Bishop, uh, the princess was only 12 years old. 14, Dominique. The prince is already 14. With the war, the prince should be ready at any time to succeed his father. Mm -hmm. King Alfonso married Queen Leonor at age 50, remember? Yeah. So, we go now to the betrothal, and you will return a year after when the prince turns 15. Such a marriage is necessary to strengthen the military and political alliance between Christian kingdoms. To fortify kingdoms on earth, my son, mm. of which we are to oversee and seal by our duties. So, everything is arranged and we are to leave by sunrise tomorrow. Perhaps it's time, Dominique, for you to set your sight outside Osma. Friends are lost. <laughs> of course, they can see the boats with their hoots and hats on.
There is so many people hurt in this place. What's, what happened in this mission? Well, uh, both their hearts and minds are blinded by uh, Bale's doctrines, propagated by those Kappa Perfecti equivalent to a priest. Remember this austere man receiving some alms from the people? Yes. This perfecti evangelization are condoned by the counts and princes of this land. What doctrines? Well, uh, Cathars believe there are two gods. The god of the Old Testament, who mm -hmm. is cruel and avenging, mm -hmm. while the god of the New Testament, who they believe is a true god and is all loving. But don't worry, Dominic. Cathars are peace-loving people and very austere. They may be indifferent to us, but uh, they are not hostile people. They just needed to be enlightened. Besides, the owner of this team is a Cathar. Uh, please make sure that everybody is settled and ready for dinner in an hour. Okay, yes, come in. No, I will follow you later. Right, don't be late. <laughs> it's warm, huh? What's your name? Benito. My name is Benito. Oh, Benito. My name is Dominic. I know. How to pray? Really? Do you know that? Peace. Yes. Keep this cross with you. That will protect you, right? Benito! Benito! Benito, there you are. You are not supposed to talk to the guest, or our master will send us away. It's all right. Now get into the kitchen and wait for me there, understand? He's not doing anybody any harm, it's right. No, it is not all right, Father. Nobody here is supposed to be cordial with priests. A man of your size should be able to carry this load. Oh, you prelates are so indulgent. Pray for my soul, Father, if I betray my faith, for the sake of my son. Everyone except you has taken his dinner. Is there something wrong with my food? Forgive me, I'm fasting. I prefer a nice warm water, do you have any? They paid a hefty sum for food, not warm water. Serving the best warm water paid from the toils of your labor, Mario. Yes, don't eat, Papa. Just the water. Wash. You're asking too many questions. How can you accept us? Sit God? and behave. <laughs> Somebody who allowed himself be insulted, nail like a criminal and die like a criminal on the cross. You should already be in bed by now. We as scatters believe the one who is nailed on that cross is not Jesus Christ but an image of him, cast upon those who witnessed his death. My son, Jesus is as real as documented by Pontius Pilato, written with his own hand and sealed during his reign in Jerusalem. Why can you not believe him, whom you say is all loving, is also willing to die for the forgiveness of your sins? I don't understand. Holy water, Papa? Maybe he's not just an ordinary priest. I gather he's more pious than the rest. Like a saint? I don't want to become a saint, just a priest? All right. <laughs> not a saint, just a priest then. 
Now, will you stop asking questions and sleep now? Sing me a song, Papa. I cannot do that without disturbing the priest and our master. Please, Papa. La la. Mm -hmm. So it is the first time you will come face to face with Papa Legates. Yes. These are a kind of soldier monks chosen by the Pope to organize crusades. Mm -hmm. But they are good men, Dominique, good men, bounded by their duties to the Church. Welcome, brothers. Follow me. Oh, welcome to Cito, brothers. Sorry to hear about the death of the Princess of Denmark, Bishop Diego. Perhaps the failure of the royal marriage could be divine providence, bringing you here to help us solve the heresy in mid-France. Pope Innocent himself specifically chose you. <laughs> no, no. We're not chosen. We're only given directives to assist our sisters and brothers, Father Raoul. It seems that the Pope has lined up a lot of prelates to solve the problem in Midi France. Father Amari, Father Peter, this is Bishop Diego and his sub prayer, Dominic of Osma. Please take your seats. Father Peter here is the Pope emissary to the princes of this land. I'm in charge of recruiting men to join the Crusades. What exactly are we dealing here, brothers? Heretics. What else? Two groups of heretics. The poor folks who work day and night, and their princes, counts, even kings. The Pope has no issues about the poor people. The poor and uneducated class is easily blinded by the austerity and personal ministry of Qatar perfectis equivalent to our priest. The big difference is they go on foot, begging for the food and shelter every day as they perform the ministry. So vida apostolica, the way of the apostles, where poverty is a way of life. Catholic perfectists are relieving the ministry of the twelve apostles. That's why people are drawn to them. True, but they are teaching the wrong doctrines. These are the territories of Qatar. They occupy almost half of Midi France. What complicated things are their prince and counts? Instead of enlightening them to the true doctrines, they keep a blind eye. How many times have I called their attention? But no, they would rather parade around their grounds, floating their wheels then exert any effort to help these poor people. Then vita apostolica it is. That's exactly that. If the people won't go to the church, we'll bring the gospel to them. Live with them if we must. Share the food. The way of the apostles. 
our advantage over the austerity of perspective is a truth inscribed in our doctrines passed on to us by the early fathers from the church. If we have faith in what we claim to be truth, then we shall begin preaching with a mission from the church. But we shall preach in humility, not authority. It will be a very difficult life. I know. But I must agree. It might work. And so do I. Then it is done. Preaching will be the way of apostles. Vita apostolica. Vita apostolica. I shall bring in the best preachers of Rome and ensure that your preaching will go uninterrupted by all means. I shall enforce the Pope's orders to serve the excommunication order to Prince Raymond of Toulouse. <laughs> Had we not come out for with a solution, you will uh, further delay to serve the dinner? <laughs> oh, you notice that. Yeah. Brother, enjoy the fruits of our labor. We have the best offer this season. Come. Let's all go to the dining area. Divine Providence, my son, Divine Providence. hope for victory for already. Our sins are washed in blood, Bishop Diego. My anger is just too much, Dominic. I might run out of blood. Brothers, this is the defining moment of our church. The Pope has gathered all the best preachers in all of Europe to undertake an apostolic mission that aims to gather in her lost children. Thank you for your courage, as this mission will be hard and difficult for your rank as bishops. We shall all walk together in pairs, carrying nothing but a book 
to show us proofs of the truth we are about to proclaim. We shall carry a staff to remind us of the 12 apostles who have undertaken the same deeds. Pope Innocent has also given us strict directives to put on foot well, not only to protect your feet, but also to identify yourselves as members of our church. Cath are perfectly go on preaching barefooted. Why do you defy the Pope's orders to specifically wear shoes? Mr. Pope, going in barefoot is not to defy the Pope's orders. This is the least I can do to offer God the many graces he gives us. Besides, he knows I'm Catholic because you are wearing one. You will not report that to Bishop Diego, right? Leonardo. <coughs> this is not good, Leonardo. I must go back to Osma to get provisions for our upkeep here. But meanwhile, please do the best you can to make both hands meet. I will do that, Bishop. Please, if I may say so. You do not look well enough to travel. The cold season has begun. Perhaps it is best to travel after the winter, Bishop Diego. <coughs> you and your wife, Erlingard, are good people, Leonardo. Good people. Not only did you donate this house, but also you offered your services. But I don't want to starve you to death. <coughs> so please, just pray that I will have enough strength to travel, right? Then you must rest now, Bishop. I shall prepare your travel provisions for tomorrow. Brother Williams. Yeah. Brother William, please make sure that all the incoming donations and deeds are in your name and fully accounted so that Brother Dominic is informed. Let Brother Dominic continue his preaching while you take care of temporal matters, right? Right, Father. Thank you, William. <clears throat> Bishop Diego, the community is going fast. Uh, how, how are we to provide the uh, future needs of religious brothers and sisters? Is the donations are just temporary? Donations that came pouring in when our adversaries failed three times to burn the list of arguments you have written here, my son. 
Remember. Yeah. <coughs> God made sure that believers were there to witness this. And you are still warrior, Dominique. You are still warrior, Bishop. All right, all right. Then, we must get a confirmation of our community from the Pope himself. All right, only then can we be only assured of the financial stability of our community. Divine Providence, my son. <laughs> Divine Providence. and you gave me drink. I wasn't a stranger. And you received me in your home. I was naked. And you clothed me. I was sick and you take care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. I tell you, whatever you did it for one of the least followers of mine, you did it for me. I tell you, whenever you did this for one of the least important of these followers of mine, you did it for me. All the bishops have returned to their respective dioceses. Who is to lead us now? Oh my God, what will become of us? And now, can't we mount nice assassinated Peter Castello? I don't feel it safe for us to stay here any longer. Please calm down. It's not that bad, I suppose. I heard this Count Raymond is leaving for Rome to serve his penance. This is a big sacrifice on his part, so we can have peace. What peace are you talking about? Nobody's nephew. The young Chancaval, he still defies the church. And with King Aragon on their side, we must leave this place. Now. No one's living. I don't know when people are in fear. 
We've been telling everyone how our God is good and merciful. And look at you. Look at you. Covering as he leaves us? No. No. We will continue gathering the lost and outcast. We will continue. Those who don't believe in the face must live now. Our backs. Hey! Leave the backs. Leave the backs, Leonardo. Benito, where are we going, Papa? We go north, far away from this land, and away from all priests and nobles. Come, we must leave now. But I promised to see Father Dominic and join his brother. We are not safe here. Now let's go. Wait, Papa, my beat. Simon, Simon de Montfort, who gives the orders to attack? You are only to camp in for the night. You will attack only at noon. I tried to stop them, Bishop Amore. But these men are so eager to grab the indulgences, you promised them. I couldn't wait until they wake to gain them. Then it is clear that's your hands. Blood will spill in these lands. I'm bounded by oath to Rome to cleanse these lands from heretics. Bishop, wait! How do I know a Catholic from a heretic? You fool! You laid this carnage and you do not now! That's why the attack is during the day! Then, kill them whole. God will spare his.
ಇದೆ The war in Midi France had just begun. Our community moves on. Domini continues to offer prayers and sacrifices during the night. Daytime, on the other hand, is devoted to work and ministry. As war becomes part of our lives, Domini continues to give hope by strengthening our faith. He travels to Rome with Bishop Falk from time to time to check the progress of the confirmation of our order. Whenever he is back in Vanjou, he still manages to give himself to us, harnessing the best in each and every one of us. Dominique is very strict to his preachers to master the scriptures by heart and by deeds. He believes that this is the best solution in addressing the problems in Midi France. People then cannot tell the difference between loyalty and faith. Fear of death and hunger can be solved when a preacher is able to enlighten people by strengthening their faith in God. William, are you not supposed to inform us that there are no grains in the granary? I know. That's right. Brother William, how do you inform Brother Lawrence here? He could have performed some miracle then. Fear the sack. <laughs> I heard a miracle that just happened to one of our brothers. No, come on, really? Yes. He was asking for some grains, 
And the woman who gave him alms was very surprised really? when she saw that her bag that was previously empty was now full. <laughs> Come on, really? So maybe we can ask this woman for her generosity again. She won't mind. Pierre, <laughs> are you not supposed to lead the prayers tonight? Yes, but there is nothing for dinner, Father Dominique. This is not an excuse for to pray. I see you still have wine and histories about your adventure to share it. Come on, let us gather now and celebrate good graces. Most merciful God, we thank thee for your blessings. Fortify your souls with the strength. Then we may not want more that you are pleased to grant us. Amen. 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 So what are you waiting for? It? It has been a year since Pope Honor has granted our confirmation. For the last two years of ministry, we have already gathered many souls in this region. We have to disperse now and build more communities outside Middle France. I have with me the people bulls where your specific assignments are written. William, you shall carry nothing but your books and stuff. And you shall preach in your way and find food and shelter to those people who once listened to you. With, with due respect, Father Dominique. Yes? How can someone as ignorant as I can open a convent when I only have a single notebook of the homilies of Blessed Gregory? Go with confidence. Twice a day, I will pray for you, don't doubt. Pierre. You will gain many souls to God. And it will be a much fruit, right? Uh, Father, am I going to Paris? Yes, my son. You have to go to Paris with brother Matthew, Bertrand, and Lawrence to study. And then you shall be sent out to preach and open more communities in the name of the order of the preachers. Uh, Father, uh, I do not mean to be rude, but are we to journey? from Pouille to Paris, on foot? Yes, my son. Carry nothing but your books and stuff. Go now, because your journey is long and tedious. Yeah, Father, forgive me, but I cannot do what you ask of me. I cannot and will not traverse the hostile towns between here and Paris, on foot. At least give me a provision for my journey. Please. It's for you. His chosen servants to fear the Lord. Those who fear him never were wanting. Father, I truly believe in my heart that God will be with me as he has always been with you, Father. But I, I do not fear to go hungry on my journey. But now that Contremont has been exacting his revenge in taking back his land, I fear him to no end as to what his knights will do to me. Father, considering that the Pope has not confirmed the mendicant ways of our orders yet, I respectfully demand, please, I, I want to be exempt in this fool, Father. My son, if you can see the pain that you words have stricken in my heart for having so little faith in God, Oh, John. John, please forgive, forgive me for being so insensitive in your needs. William, give John about a 12 pencil to come down his stairs so he could proceed peacefully his journey. No, 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 that, that won't be necessary. Father, please. I'm, I'm, I'm so ashamed, Father. So ashamed, Father. Pierre. Pierre, hey. Now I see where it's not coming from. 
You cannot always be together, my sons. We have to disperse ourselves to the world and continue the apostolic ministry, teaching them to love one to the others. As Matthew says, I tell you, whenever you did this for one of the least followers of mine, you did it for me. We have to disperse now so we can gather in the scattered children of God into the church. Isn't this what we have all written in our charters, where each and every one sharing their thoughts and gifts with one another? Now we shall begin giving away, sharing to the others. escalated. Nobles against each other. The major religions of the world continue to extend their political boundaries. Look at that. So beautiful. It's beautiful. Yet Dominic and his band of brothers are bearing fruits from their courageous ministry. With the grace of our Lord, the preachers were able to attract more followers, lay people, and brilliant preachers. This courageous ministry did not escape the generosity of Rome. Favors from Pope Honorius III came pouring in, making it possible for the community of preachers to prosper all the more. All these graces are happening amidst the war for a new social order sweeping the entire continent. Grandfather! Grandfather! Grandfather, come. Look at it. Father Dominic, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. It has been so long. Let me introduce you to the brothers. Sure. This is Matthew. This is Jean. This is Father Dominic. This is Paul. Hello, Paul. And this is Mark. Mark. Yeah. Nice to see you. Now, you believe me when I told you that God will be with you? Yeah. Prepare the brother because we are going to write the charter of the other preachers this May in Bologna. Right? Right. So happy. Let's get inside. Halfway to Bologna. William, bring this paperwork to Bishop Falk. And John, bring this paperwork to Cardinal Bologna so he could act on it immediately, right? Make sure that all the concessions given to the order written by Pope Honorius are followed. Please, Father, please, listen to me. Brother Jean will have to take you first. Where? To our convent hmm. in, in San Nicolas. Before he proceeds to Venice. Yeah, listen to him, Father. Please, Father. We have to leave now. So that won't be a problem to you, right, son? What do you mean, Father? You've been walking from France to Venice all these years. <laughs> <laughs> you have gone a long way since the first time we did this prayers. You're right, Father. Come on. Let's move on now. Ah, come on, Father, please. 
Uh, at least let me give you my shoes or something. No, no. There is no time left. No. We have to disperse now. extra habit for Father Dominique? Yes, Mother Provence. Father Dominique is supposed to arrive yesterday. I know. I wonder what is taking him so long.
with for me, my children. I will be more helpful to you when I'm going. Let's begin. Manos tuas, Amine. Comando Espíritu Meo. Alba nos domine, vigilantes, custodios nos domines. Do not weep. I shall be of more use to you and bear more fruit for you after death than I ever did in life. Up until his final hours, Dominic never stopped caring and praying for us, interceding for us every day.